CBS 4 is your local election headquarters after President Joe Biden's historic decision to drop out of the presidential race. All eyes now turn to his vice president Kamala Harris ahead of the DNC. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chelsea Helms and I'm Nick McGill in for Bob CBS 4 State House reporter Hannah Adamson spoke with Indiana delegates preparing for the national convention about this stunning turn of events and what they're expecting will take place in Chicago next month. Hey, Anna. Hey, and one delegate from Laporte I spoke to says many delegates at Indiana's Democratic State Convention earlier this month expressed concerns over Biden's age. Still, the party passed a resolution to support the Biden-Harris ticket. Now, with Biden's decision to drop out of the race, I'm told there's an overwhelming sense of relief and optimism among delegates preparing for the national convention. What a difference 24 hours makes. Shaw Friedman is one of Indiana's 88 delegates heading to the DNC next month. I think there's going to be strong consensus behind Kamala Harris. Indiana Democratic Party Chair Mike Schmuel echoing those sentiments. I'm pretty uh, confident that tonight we'll come together as a state party uh, and as a DNC delegation um, to say that we support Kamala Harris uh, in running for president. But other top Democrats, such as former President Barack Obama, Chuck Schumer, and Hakeem Jeffries, have not endorsed a candidate at this time. Schmuel says, according to party rules, any Democrat wanting to challenge Harris would need the backing of at least 300 delegates to be up for consideration. I'm not saying it's impossible, uh, but that's a tall order to accomplish in the next, really, just the next uh, week or two. I just don't see. Uh, a contest at this point. This as the party waits to see if a virtual roll call among delegates will take place ahead of the convention in order to comply with early ballot deadlines in some states. The DNC um, and, and the presidential campaign, they feel fairly strongly that we need to uh, do that online certification process so our nominee is on the ballot in all 50 states. I'm not so sure whether that's going to come down or not. Uh, we'll have to see what's uh, what, uh, what the uh, Rules Committee ultimately comes up with. As for who Kamala Harris's running mate could be, Schmuel says there are several names that have been floated. Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona, Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan, and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg among them. But that the party is still waiting on Vice President Harris to begin that process. Hannah Adamson, CBS 4 News. All right, Hannah, thank you. Meanwhile, here at home, a filing.